Hello everyone, and welcome to the DPB Podcast. I am your host, Ryan Mondis, with DisneyPinsBlog.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. This is episode number 147 for the week of October 8th, 2018. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. Welcome back to the show, everyone. It is just myself this week. We have a ton of pin news to cover. Uh, but first, for housekeeping, I do have one thing to mention, uh, and that is next week I will not have an episode of the DPV podcast go up, uh, just because I'm going to be traveling. I'm actually going to be going back down to Walt Disney World for the weekend. Uh, so yeah, no podcast next week, but then I'll be back again the following. So of course, if you want any of the pin news, you're just going to have to hit up DisneyPinsBlog.com. Everything will be there. All right, let's get right into the pin news. First, we're going to start off with Shop at Disney. Two things I want to mention for them. Uh, first was the September 2018 Disney Park Pack um, has been shipped. I received mine last week. It features the Sword in the Stone. Uh, we have a blog post up on that set. And I also have an unboxing video on the Disney Pins Blog YouTube channel if you guys want to check that one out. It was a pretty funny one. And then also for Shop Disney, this is actually in the UK. It's only available uh, in Europe. They have a Disney Advent Calendar, and it's pin-themed. These are usually like Tsum Tsum themed. I know Lego does one as well. Uh, but this is the first one I've ever seen for Disney pins. I wish it was available in America, but this is a Disney Store UK exclusive. All right, next let's head into Box Lunch, of course. We have three pins to discuss at Box Lunch. The first one is another Disney Villains pin. This one features Jafar, and I added that one into our Disney Villains blog post. I think there's five now on there. There's like Evil Queen, Maleficent, Ursula, and now we have Jafar as well, so that's available online. And then next is a stitch pin at Box Lunch, and it reads Beyond Cool. This one is $8.90. Uh, that's available online. I'm not sure if I've seen an actual picture of this pin yet, if it's available in store yet or not, but I do know it is online. It has a really cool blue glitter embellishment background on it. And then next is another Disney 90th pin from Box Lunch. At least the back card says Mickey Mouse, 90 years. Uh, this one's called Split Face. And it's like a black and white one side. Um, pretty unique pin there. Retail price is $8.90, of course. And that was just released online. All right, now let's head into Hot Topic. They had a new pin release. And this one features the alien from Toy Story. And it has the claw picking him up. Someone sent us a photo of this pin. They spotted it in their Hot Topic store. I don't think it's available online. I did check a few days ago and I did not see it online. Uh, but yeah, it's just like the claw picking up a single green alien. Really cool pin from Hot Topic. Next, I want to actually talk about a unique retailer that released a few Disney pin sets, and that's actually JC Penney's. They released three limited edition pin sets themed to Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday coming up here very soon. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool pin sets. They're all silver plated. So pure silver. They actually say silver plated over brass. And there's three different pin sets featuring three different pins. They come in a uh, little like jewelry box. The retail price online is $60 for these sets. Uh, but I heard many people say that actually in store is greatly reduced. I think they're like around like $20 in store. So yeah, not bad, small little pins. And it's cool that they're actually silver plated. If you don't have a JCPenney's near you, um, unfortunately you'll probably have to get these online at that uh, $60 retail price, unless you can find a coupon. All right, now let's head overseas. First, we're gonna start off with Shanghai Disney Resort. They released two new Halloween pins, and they're both limited edition of 1,000. The first one is Mickey Mouse and Friends. You have Chip and Dale, Minnie Mouse in the background, and Donald Duck, all in their Halloween costumes. And then the other one is Duffy Bear and Friends. And you have the whole gang there, or almost the whole gang. You have Stella Lou, Duffy Bear, Shelly Mae, and Gelatoni with a gold glitter embellishment background. Yeah, both of those were just released at Shanghai Disneyland LE 1000. And then they had a new Hidden Mickey pin release. This one features Gelatoni, and it's exclusive for the month of October. And I reached out to a friend out at Shanghai, and they told me they do, they typically do one Hidden Mickey pin per month. And that's why this one just says October on it. It just says O-C-T period. And has jelly, gelatoni in the background, purple glitter embellishments. And you see that little hidden Mickey pin on the top right. And on the bottom it has a pumpkin 
with some candy coming out of it. Next, we will head over to Hong Kong Disneyland. They have a new cast member pin release. This one features Duffy Bear and Cookie, Duffy's newest friend, Cookie. And this is a cast member exclusive pin release. It says Disney Halloween time on it. It's a yellow background with a pumpkin at the bottom. It's orange and has glitter embellishments on it. That one was, was released on October 5th and it's limited edition of just 300. So low edition size there and it glows in the dark. Hong Kong also has an exhibit up that features Mickey Mouse and celebrates his 90th anniversary. There's also one of these coming to New York and I believe Chicago, uh, but they had three pin sets that were released there. They have two pins per set, all Mickey Mouse themed. One is a really old school one with like a plain crazy Mickey Mouse and a Steamboat Willie Mickey. The other one has like the band Mickey and I think it's Brave Little Taylor. And then the uh, third one features two classic uh, Mickey Mouses there. I'm not sure the retail price on these. I do want to keep an eye out in case they are released in uh, New York City. All right, next we're going to head over to Disneyland Paris. They actually had a surprise pin release. And this one, of course, themed to Mickey Mouse again. We're seeing tons and tons of Mickey Mouse pins. I'm sure we're going to um, in the coming month or two as well for his uh, big 90th anniversary. But this one's called World's Biggest Mouse Party. And there are five limited edition pin releases featuring Minnie Mouse, Goofy, Mickey Mouse, Pluto, and Donald Duck. They're all dressed up for this special occasion. Limited edition of just 700 each. And that was a surprise pin release on October 6th. 2018 exclusive to Disneyland Paris. All right, next we're gonna head over to Alani, a Disney resort and spa. Nice whenever they have a new pin release. This is an exclusive for Hawaii. For Halloween 2018, it features the Alani logo. You have a pineapple with a pumpkin face on it. And below it reads, Happy Halloween, Alani, a Disney resort and spa 2018 with a nice purple background on that pin. And I love the back card. It's a lime green, Halloween themed bat card that says 2018 at the top. Very nice. That one is limited edition of just 1000, exclusive to Hawaii. And that pineapple is a 3D rubber element. Pretty cool pin. Next, we're gonna head over to Disney Studio Store Hollywood. We're all over the place this week just because of how many pin releases there were. Really, there was a new pin release at every park around the world. It was pretty crazy. But now we are in Hollywood and they had a Villain Cuties pin release. We had a preview of these actually at Walt Disney's Animation Celebration pin event. There are four different pins featuring Dr. Facilier, Madame Mim, Horn King, and Yogi from Big Hero 6. They're all limited edition of 300 with a retail price of $16.95. And that was a surprise release on October 3rd. Before we head to Disney Parks in America, I also want to mention there were a ton of new pin releases at the New York Comic Con this past weekend. Like, we had a lot of blog posts go up. If you guys want to check all those out, I'm not going to mention them here on the podcast, but it's since it's kind of old news now. But if you do want to check out all the pin releases, there were some from Kingdom Hearts. There's another Mickey Mouse 90th pin set, a Nightmare Before Christmas 25th anniversary pin set, and then a ton of Marvel pin releases. If you just head over to DisneyPinsBug.com and click on the Comic Con pin category page, you'll see all those posts there. Okay, now let's head into Disney Parks in America. First, we're going to start off with an actual cast member pin release. And this is a really nice one. I love this pin. It's for Mickey's Philhar Magic 15th anniversary. This was released on October 5th. 2018 and the official anniversary date is actually October 8th so the day this podcast goes up it's a pin on pin design with Mickey in the center and then it says Philhar Magic at the top below 15 magical years all in a gold glitter embellishment and at the very bottom it reads Walt Disney World this is a Walt Disney World exclusive that's limited edition of just 500. Another unique pin release at Walt Disney World is for the Return to Sleepy Hollow event at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. It's very similar to last year's pin, but this one this year is a lime green background with a headless horseman in the center. At the bottom, it does read 2018. That pin is limited edition of 3400 and it's only available for guests who attend this event at the uh, Fort Wilderness Resort. You get to watch The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and guests also have a meet and greet with the Headless Horseman, and they just added a dessert party on for this year. Uh, general tickets are $22, premium tickets are $38, and the ultimate ticket that includes the dessert party is $60. Uh, the event days, uh, some of them already happened, end of September, starting, it started on September 28th, and then also October 3rd through the 7th, 10th through the 14th, 17th through the 21st, and the 24th 
through the 31st. So if you guys want to hit up that event at Walt Disney World Resort, I believe all guests receive this limited edition pin. The show begins at 8 p.m. and they also have another viewing at 10 p.m. And to book that, you have to call 407-WDW-TOUR. Okay, and now for the new pin releases this week at Disney Parks. First, we're going to start off with Disneyland. They have their next Once Upon a Time pin. This is their monthly pin collection. And this is the 10th one for this collection. It features Cinderella. It's that circular pin that has the hinge element in the center. It features Cinderella, the Fairy Godmother, and then the other side it has Prince Charming. Limited edition of just $2,000 with a retail price of $16.99. That will be available this Thursday, October 11th. And then there aren't any exclusives for Walt Disney World this week, but there are a few shared pin releases on both coasts. And they're, all, and they're all part of that Hunting Halloween 2018 pin collection. There were a few last week, and now this week we have a few more, but these ones are hinged pins. The first one features Hades. It's limited edition of 4,000. On the inside it says Trick or Treat and has Hades himself. Next there is a Jafar pin on the inside. It's like the red genie as Jafar. That one's LE4000 as well. Then there is a Lady Tremaine pin from Cinderella. Same edition size there. And then the fourth one is Ursula. I do have a photo of this, but it is upside down just because that's how it was in, dis in the uh, display case at Animation Celebration. Uh, but it does have Ursula on the inside. And then there is the five pin box set, which has a uh, completer pin in it that has the uh, cards on it. And I think it has Queen of Hearts on the inside. This is limited edition of just 1,000. It features all five pins. If I had to guess the retail price on this, it's probably gonna be around $100 just because those other pins are uh, $16.99. And all of those are going to be released this Thursday, October 11th. And before we end off the pin news this week, I also just want to mention real quick that last week, all of those new open edition princess pins were released at Walt Disney World. And I believe they might be at Disneyland now as well, but those are a split coast release. They're just a Disney Parks open edition collection of brand new princess pins. We had a preview of them at the animation celebration event as well. And uh, yeah, they're finally here, and people seem to really like them a lot. They are beautiful pins. All right, so that's going to do it for the pin news this week. Now let's head into Disney Pin Chat. Lots of exciting pin events are happening in November 2018. I just want to talk about two of them that were announced this past week. That, of course, is the Pin Trading Nights. They are returning. And then a brand new event at Disney Studios Store Hollywood called Pins Giving. Just want to quickly talk over those. And of course, we mentioned, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, the Destination D event at Walt Disney World. All those exclusive WDI pins are going to be released in November as well. So November is looking to be like a huge month for pin events and pin releases. And then of course, we have all of the holiday pins that are going to be released at the parks as well. So first, the first big news we want to talk about is pin trading nights at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. They are returning, and I am really excited about it. I love the Pin Trading Night events. They are both on November 8th. The Disneyland one is at Stage 17, Hollywood Land at Disney California Adventure Park. It starts at 5 and ends at 9 p.m. Admission price is just $15. And of course, that includes the Pin Trading area, the uh, one edible treat, which is usually that Rice Krispie treat. And then we get to see the upcoming pin previews. That's my favorite part. And then we get to pick up all of our pins. There are pin releases at Pin Trading Night, which I'm going to mention here in a second. But next we'll head into the Walt Disney World one. That one is November 8th as well, from 5 to 9. And it's at Veracruz Sea Convention Center at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. $15 as well. Includes the same stuff as Disneyland. Pretty much the same events, just on both coasts. And you have an opportunity to do your RSP, your random selection process for the 2018 holiday season collection. So let's talk about those real quick. There are going to be five new pin releases for the pin trading nights. So anyone attending pin trading night has the first opportunity to purchase these pins. That goes for West Coast and East Coast. And then usually a week later they appear in the parks for sale if there's any remaining, which there usually are. The first pin is a Happy Thanksgiving 2018 pin which I really like this one. It features the Muppets. I think it's funny. It's a limited edition of 4,000, and these are split between Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Retail price for that one is $16.99. And there are two season greetings pins. First one features Chip and Dale. It's a hinge pin, and their arms move back and forth to put on like a Santa Claus hat. That's a limitation of 5000 Retail price $16.99. The next season greetings pin is probably going to be the most popular one, featuring Stitch. 
and he has a hinged element on his arm that puts reindeer antlers on his head. That is LE5000, 1699 as well. And then the Hawaii Melikaliki Maka 2018 pin with a uh, strange edition size here coming in at 32.50. Retail price is 16.99. You have Mickey, Minnie, and Donald, super tropical. And then the fifth re release that's getting uh, great feedback is the Ugly Sweater Mystery Pin Collection. We did see previews of these a while back, and uh, yeah, they're going to be released first at Pin Trading Nights. Each box contains two randomly selected pins. Retail price is $19.99 for those. And I really hope to get that Baymax Ugly Sweater. And it's a limited release set, which I like. At least it's limited release instead of open edition. So all those will be available first for the guests at Pin Trading Nights. And then any remaining pins from the events, which there typically are, they will appear at Disney parks, both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And then for the next piece of news is the Pins Giving Pin Trading event. This was a complete surprise. Uh, it's put on by Disney Studio Store Hollywood, but is actually going to take place at the Disneyland Hotel on November 18th. And that's Mickey Mouse's official birthday. And it's also the last day of the D23 Destination D celebrating Mickey Mouse event at Walt Disney World. Like I said, November is just going to be a crazy month for Disney pins. This Studio Store Hollywood event is going to be very, very popular because the pin releases are awesome. The pins included in the packages are featuring Wreck-It Ralph. The trading event pin is LE400 and the marquee pin, which is a die cast one, is LE150, low edition size there. Then there is a Ralph Breaks the Internet set of six pins with a retail price of $150, all LE400. And then there's a brand new photo series collection. Series number one features Beauty and the Beast, The Jungle Book, Up, and Aladdin. Limited edition of 400, retail price is $100. Series two features Wreck-It Ralph, Dumbo, Pinocchio, and Big Hero 6. Uh, same retail price and edition size on that one. And then the third series features Lilo and Stitch. The Lion King, Moana, and Zootopia. And same LE400 with uh, retail price coming in at $100. Uh, reservations for this event will begin on October 11th at 9 a.m. Pacific time on the uh, Disney Studio Store Hollywood Facebook page. And this is going to sell out super, super fast. You got to hit that link as soon as it goes on sale. And it's pretty much going to be like a typical studio store online release, how you have to wait to get in to uh, enter. I know that's how the one was last year. So there are three different packages. The first one is the BFF package coming in at $275. And that is limited, limited to 150 tickets. And then there is the trading package, which is $75. That's limited to 100 tickets. And then third is the Buddy Pass which is $175 coming in at just 150 tickets sold there. And if you want to find the details on all of those packages, I uh, will put the flyer on YouTube. And if you're listening to this on iTunes or Google or the website, just head over to DisneyPinsBlog.com. We have our blog post up on the Pins Giving Pin event. Um, or, of course, all, is, all of this information is on the Disney Studio Store Hollywood Facebook page. All right, so that was a ton of pin news. Lots coming up for the remainder of 2018 in the pin community. Very exciting time. I can't wait for it all. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it, guys, for episode number 147. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, like I mentioned in housekeeping, no episode next week. But uh, I will have lots of content going up on the website, of course, and on our YouTube channel. All right, hope everyone has a great week. See ya.